Group Society in Toronto with Mika Jacino. Um, we're going to be asking a few questions about her barbering career and the uh, studio. So yeah, just um, kind of run us through how you started hair barbering and how it led you to where you are today. Um, so I started in hair salons when I was 14. I would like sweep floors, get coffee, wash clients. Um, that moved me into working summers in Toronto because I'm actually from Ottawa. So when I would come to Toronto to see my mom, I would actually work at Tony and Guy in Yorkville and I would work there as an assistant for the summer. Um, I kind of evolved just through the hair industry first. Got all of my education done through Tony and Guy, fast tracked, got on the floor, moved up to I believe possibly three levels in art director levels. Got into education, did the award ceremonies, um, learned how to manage, do payroll, things like that. And I was there about seven years until I finally decided that I wanted to go strictly into men's, men's uh, division. But that was primarily because I was always doing male clients at the salon. I'd gained a, a big rapport with guys and females were just not my thing. Like it was just not, they were just really, it was just boring. And I found like they never wanted to do anything different and just a bit off the end. Bit off the end and then a 45 minute blow dry. And um, so I got tired of that and I really just wanted to venture into the men's division. And so I left, found myself a place um, as my first barber position. And then that's where I started. So it was about, I want to say like maybe 10 years now that I've been just strictly cutting. But it started off with women and men and then just went right into men. Um, and then in 2015, I left the last barbershop I was working at and decided that I wanted to just do my own thing. Where do you see barbering at the moment in Canada? Like, is it in a good place? Do you think it would be better? What changes could be brought in with education or, you know, legislation or? I feel like the barber game in, in Canada, specifically Toronto, because I haven't checked in. Like, I, I know of shops in Montreal, um, Vancouver and such, but it's really oversaturated right now. And that's not a bad thing, but it's about determining why all these shops are opening and what are they that's bringing, like, what are you bringing that's different to, to the city? Anyone could open a shop, and I say that lightly but anybody can open a shop because at the end of the day, it just takes putting in the chairs, the vision, and being able to cut behind a chair. But I think there's like a certain knack that I think people are forgetting to realize. It's like, when I started in the hair industry, I had to earn my stripes. So I spent seven years cleaning toilets and washing the, like washing floor sweeping and being basically like, can I swear on here or no? Yeah. Basically being like other, like stylist bitches, you know? like. On some levels, I was earning my stripes because it was about like, how bad do you want this? How bad do you want to be in this industry? How bad do you want to learn? No, you don't pick up a pair of scissors until I tell you you're ready to. No, you don't touch my tools. You can clean my tools, but you don't touch my, like, do you know what I mean? Mm. And so I think for me, it's like, I'm not that old, but for me looking at other people who are opening shops, opening salons, I, I question if they've really earned their stripes, if they've really done the work. A lot of them are not licensed. That's a big thing in Canada, big thing in Toronto. Um, some of them haven't gone to school, which I don't think is a huge deal because nowadays you can learn online. You know, you can get education from anywhere, but um, I definitely think it's just, it's getting oversaturated. Like the, like the barber competitions. I don't go to a barber competition and leave inspired. I go and I'm like, I wanna get the fuck out. It's literally just like, and it's not even just the barbers. It's, it's the way it's put together. For me, an experience is everything. If I go to a barber show, I wanna walk in and be like, fuck, this is sick. And like, have a drink in hand or not, or like, seeing like vendors and, and you know, talking about the newest tools and not just someone at a table with just boxes of tools saying, we sell it whole price, you can buy it here. And you're like, okay, cool. I just think things like that. I wish there was more of it in Toronto. I think it would be sick. And I think that a lot of people are too nervous to do it. They're too nervous to like jump out and just take the risk and try something different. I think that's why a lot of people go to the States or they do shit in Europe. Cause that shit's always popping off. I think in the States there's too many shows almost. 
like you say, I'd rather there be, you know, five really good shows per year yeah. rather than 30 poorly put together ones. You know? Yeah. Is that going to be a question? The dog. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Oh, okay. yeah, but I like, we should probably say, like, it's the dog snoring, if you can hear that. <laughs>